Uh, good morning, everyone. I know it's a long day, a long morning, but please bear with me for the next uh, 25 minutes or so. I'm going to share with you uh, this speech, Respite from Hype to Rhyme. So, <clears throat> I know rhyme is an uh, adjective in the uh, dictionary, but uh, just like Steve Jobs like to say, think different. Different is a noun. So here, ripe is used as a noun as well. <coughs> so uh, this file starts with, uh, with hype. So that's why we have a, a car here. But uh, uh, those who involved earlier already arrived in their diversified application. Um, so uh, this is my uh, overview of the, my talk. So uh, I'm going to uh, talk about the fast advancing architecture called RISC file. And uh, we talk about uh, hype and expectation from what we learn, and uh, some challenge uh, in addition to some interesting question that uh, the panel just talked about, and uh, Andy's approach to address the, ch the challenge and the concluding remark. Before that, I'd like to introduce uh, Andy's technology a little bit. Um, we just are two days short of 14 years old, so our anniversary is coming. Uh, we have over 150 uh, licenses, and we have been a focused CPU IP company. And uh, last year, we uh, had a very good milestone. Our customers uh, already shipped over 1 billion uh, chips with uh, and this processor embedded, so just last year. And so together, in our lifetime, it's over 1.3 billion. So in those uh, the diversified application, including uh, wireless, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, storage, uh, touch controller, and uh, fresh controller, all sorts of these things. So Andy is the founding company uh, of the RISC-V Foundation. Uh, we have been very active on foundation. Uh, especially, we are major open source maintainer and contributor for all the important uh, tools you are using, GCC, debug uh, GDB, LVM, and also Linux. So we are also very, very active in the foundation uh, extension uh, from the uh, P extension, uh, PEC DSP CMD. So uh, we are chair of that, um, that task group. And also uh, we propose the fast interrupt and we form the task group and we are co-chair of that. And also we are preparing a task group to handle the performance extension, uh, performance uh, tools. So you're going to see a couple of our colleagues uh, talk about those in the coming days uh, and in coming sessions. So uh, RISC V, <laughs> um, it's an uh, open and free um, ISA from Berkeley and then into the foundation. Uh, it, now it's uh, over uh, 200 members and from the, their, uh, uh, from a large leader in the field. <laughs> System company, IC company, and tool company, IP company, and so on. So it's, so it's a very big thing. So I'd rather to see RISC-V as an open standard. It's not something I call free. It's a select, it's standard. The usual standards are free. And the technology merits is, uh, is clean state. It starts from a clean sheet. And it's compact. So it's kernel very small and modular. It's many different uh, things uh, you can kind of choose from. And also, I think the most important thing is extensible for me. <coughs> It uh, uh, creates a reserve space for customers, uh, for those who are capable to uh, put their in innovation there uh, to create uh, additional staff. And uh, in addition to that, uh, standard IMAC, FD, and so on, there are more stuff coming. Uh, uh, the ISA, from the ISA side, uh, B extension for uh, bit manipulation, Java type of execution environment, uh, peer pack extension, uh, security, and vector, and so on. And also, it's about fast interrupt, it's about the, the curls, and also there's our memory model, uh, trace support, and so on. So I think this is what a good standard, uh, good uh, ISA should be. It should continue to move forward uh, to kind of catch the application requirement. So hype and expectation. So uh, we oftentimes hear that <coughs> you know, risk five free, because when people talk about RISC-V, they are not talking about ISA. They talk about processor. They talk about a lot of things. Uh, so people would say, can I have your RTL for free? 
why do you charge this and that? So, but this takes some time to explain to them, so it, it's okay. And uh, since everyone talks about risk five, so risk five is very hard, so it must have everything. So uh, I want to call with X, Y, Z. And you can put X, Y, Z with something that which risk five is under development. Okay. And there's also some confusion and concern. Uh, some worry about uh, even just with the standard, there's so many extensions there. Uh, that leads to fragmentation. But they're asking for some specific feature, which is risk five is not there. So where does the hype come from? I would say some is a result of how we promote risk five. Uh, free is confusing. Yeah. So, um, but I saw Rick has a new uh, t-shirt. The, the back doesn't say free ISO. It says something different, innovation. I like that. Where did you get that one? <coughs> I think open is a better word. So, uh, and, 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 but the uh, majority of the hype comes from called information symmetry because uh, it's fast advancing, so a lot of information uh, is out there, but not everyone able to get everything or they don't have time to get all the information. But hype isn't necessarily bad. The hype is getting mass attention and it brings up here. And we just need to work hard to meet or even beat the expectation. So uh, that uh, the curve on the right side is a so-called hype cycle from the, uh, from the gunner. Um, usually you have, they set some expectation and then it, when it goes to very high, it will drop to the bottom uh, a little bit and then it start to, to uh, uh, go to a normal uh, development cycle. But I think with our effort, this is what I like to have. Just drop a little bit and we, we move forward, go, going up with everyone's help. And there's also some, we want to talk about some challenge. And so business model is one of them. So large membership like Research Foundation with over uh, 200 or 235. So uh, it's very easy to find people doing the same thing, doing the processor, doing the tour, doing the chip, right? Doing the same thing. Uh, but, uh, so, but it's okay to have healthy co uh, competition. Uh, but more importantly, we should focus on to create competitive edge so that we can compete with, uh, with the other architecture. And there are many open source uh, risk file code out there. I think that's a good, good thing. It's, uh, it's good to get people uh, involved. They can uh, get them interested in, and they can use that to evaluate risk file uh, technology. But for commercial use, uh, free or cheap, uh, often are most expensive. Um, there are plenty of uh, free code out there before. For example, uh, DOX in the, in the computer architecture book, uh, Open Risk. I think they probably have some success, probably using some of the chip, but they, they are not where we want it to be. Right? So, serial uh, design team uh, usually we consider risk free instead of free risk. And also, between uh, very expensive our competitor and to free or very cheap. There are room for sustainable business to help customer and grow risk by. And I think uh, uh, the customer would look for the vendor who have sustainable business because they want to find a bit, they don't want to keep changing uh, the vendor. Uh, so, so that's a very important thing. So and is like to innovate cooperation. Uh, so we like to cooperate uh, tightly with uh, partner to advance the uh, risk fight faster and to benefit our customer. So uh, here we want to share the two uh, things we do. First, uh, we form the risk fight uh, easy start program. Uh, the motivation is that we know that there's a, uh, many company uh, <coughs> out there they have great idea, but they uh, don't have resource or they don't uh, have time to. Uh, design a chip or to do everything the chip need to do themselves. So uh, and this work with, uh, right now we have uh, 15 design service partner to help uh, those company to adapt risk five faster. So that's our risk five uh, risk start program. And also uh, in the product development side and it partner with Nuclear, um, uh, Bob and Tony and to develop and this uh, 22 series processor 
for our common uh, market. And uh, this afternoon, we're going to talk about uh, 22 series, uh, both me and, uh, and uh, Tony will cover that. And we will welcome new idea so that we can work with partners together and to grow risk five faster. And the other challenge is spec, <coughs> or the standard spec. Uh, because uh, the spec uh, has long, sometimes has long uh, development cycle, but we understand that solid spec deserve uh, time to invest it, to make it re really solid, because we want to use it for long. Um, but business opportunity always come, uh, and sometimes de demand uh, a solution sooner. So we need to do something. And there's also clean slate versus a legacy and existing uh, practice. Uh, I think clean slate is elegant and easier to implement. That's something that we want to keep it for long. But there's also legacy, there's also common practice, existing customer already has, and like to continue to use that. <coughs> so example, uh, right now risk five defines everything is cacheable and coherent. Uh, but on cache usage, do this, for example, in U-Boot, as a Linux environment. It's very common, you have to do that. With, without uncached support, you have to disable cache, and after you're doing something, and, uh, and open it again. It's kind of cumbersome. And also, a simple system, it manage cache by software. Uh, cache and I.O. isn't consist, isn't coherent uh, by default, because that's more expensive. You need to have coherent engine, and so on, the watching for the I.O. traffic. <clears throat> and also, current spec has no place to specify cacheability uh, policy, a right back, right through, which if you look at other architecture, and also any previous architecture, it always has something available for you to choose from. Uh, we know uh, in general, right back is, is best, but when there are specific cases, and we have customers come to us saying that they need to have right back, right through, along with right, right back at the same time on risk five. So what do you do? Uh, with that kind of experience uh, here, so Andy's is beginning to provide the best extension to RISC-V. So uh, we f uh, first, we fully support on the RISC-V standard. And um, here I want to say that again. Uh, RISC-V has custom extension. I think that's the best thing we have. That allows us to serve broader market when you need it and makes RISC-V even more competitive when you need it. And it also allows domain-specific architecture to uh, serve our customers' uh, prospective target market. So, uh, and this, when we uh, first announced we support RISC-V, we already had uh, this list of things. So back to interrupt controller with priority-based preemption. When we had that, RISC-V doesn't really have uh, the prick, doesn't really have this. And right now, this our, uh, uh, implementation already go into the, the proposal of the uh, 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 fast interrupt task group. So a lot of our idea already go in there. And we also have comprehensive cache feature we talked about earlier. So we need to support on cache, need to support software managed cache. And definitely we will do a, a hardware cache coherent as well, but that's kind of different level solution. So we hope that uh, we have a chance to push, push that into the standard. And we also have point feature, stack safe for uh, uh, hardware based stack protection and also a uh, power management feature uh, for quick nap and power break. We also enhance some uh, risk file ISA uh, with our compiler supporting that. And the last but not least, and this custom extension is the complete tool environment for customers to add instruction to their application. And I think this uh, agree very much with what Kirsty said in uh, one of the ETAM uh, article. So you can check it out. <coughs> uh, fragmentation. So um, uh, it's good that people are alerted with the potential fragmentation due to extensibility. So just think about this. How many uh, combination, how many possible combination are layer from the standard IE <coughs> and MCF? <coughs> so there will be 10 of them. Uh, ten, 10 of uh, meaningful one um, when you have I and MCF. And another 10 when you change from 32 register to 16 register, I to E. And uh, you can add another 12 
the reason, uh, if the reason uh, uh, newly proposed the uh, 14-point register in GPR, uh, F in X, then you change all the floating point to different uh, com uh, dif uh, uh, non compatible subset again. So that's another tail of combination. <coughs> and it will get even more interesting with uh, BJPSV or CAM, right? But extension, a standard or custom, could lead, uh, could lead to fragmentation only if you don't know how to manage it, right? But this has been well handled in our architecture before. So this is much less than rocket science. So nothing to worry about. So how, how does Andis manage before? So Andis, before we joined RIS-5, we have our own uh, street generation architecture, B1, B2, B3, and that's for integer. Adding floating point, single and double precision, adding DSP, that many of them already. Not as much as, uh, as RIS-5. But so what we do is that our hardware contains information to indicate its capability. And good thing that RISC-V also has something similar uh, called device tree. And then uh, uh, your air file, so when you compile and uh, generate the, the code, uh, it should contain the hardware capability this, air, this software use. And loader, when you load it to the uh, memory, it will do the checking. And, uh, and this also provides ID uh, to simplify user selection and setting of the tool chain. So make uh, it much, uh, diffi uh, much difficult for user to make mistake. And when they make the mistake in loading things to hardware, the loader will check it. So, uh, so I think uh, fragmentation is possible, but it's, it's well under control. Uh, in conclusion, I, um, for those who are old, old enough, probably know Elgo, Invent the internet, right? But you probably don't know, uh, J.F. Kennedy is the father of open source. Why? Because in his inauguration speech, he said, he, he lists out the rule for open source. So don't ask what the community can do for you. Ask what you can do for the community, <coughs> right? People say it's country, but no, it's community. So. Uh, Open source community or any standard organization is a great force to advance technology. It is, uh, so that we write, on, we write a success on it. But you must be able to work with them and tolerate its pace. <clears throat> so for what I mean, uh, for majority of people here, um, I mean, or at least those who develop very tightly coupled with risk fight core technology, those are the ones which we need to tolerate with the pace. But if you don't have bandwidth to do that, you just want to use RISC-V, you get the compatibility, you have a lot of, uh, enable a lot of um, ecosystem and so on. You talk to the vendor who are in the core, which can filter you out from all the um, uh, spec, uh, change back and forth, and a, a different debate of spec, and eventually come out the version because that requires time. Not only for the company like Andis uh, need to face, not you. So uh, reason why I started with hype, uh, but follow with a healthy, I think, and fast-paced uh, standard advancement. That's very good. I think. So uh, from our perspective, and it's it's time to write for the emerging opportunity. AIoT, uh, the previous panelists talked about, and pretty much uh, all the computing devices for the opportunity. Uh, yesterday, the Ministry of uh, uh, Technology of Taiwan government and held a uh, um, risk uh, small afternoon session of the forum to talk about it, and the second half of it has a, a panel discussion, and to make the Discussion interesting. They invite a Taiwan uh, Arms uh, VP of Sales here. He's sitting next to me. So I, I asked him to focus on uh, a packaging processor of a smartphone and fighting with Intel. He didn't say no. So other than I think Android smartphone and uh, uh, server application in the short term, everything is wide open for Ritz file. So, um, and this um, is, uh, is here for those who need professional support 
a potential solution for RITS5. So we are pure play process IP vendor for RITS5, and we've been here for 14 years, and we position us as a trusted computing expert because we already help customers shipping billion of SOC. And we are already working with many partners closely and to serve the market, serve the customer together. And uh, like Frank earlier said that uh, so far we have uh, over 25 uh, risk five customers already and they uh, cover diversified application. Uh, a lot of them on AI and 5G communication, FPGA, IoT, MCU, security storage, and wireless communication. So um, come join RITS5 because it's going to be fun. There's a lot of opportunity. So uh, if you don't come here earlier, uh, you'll be regret. Uh, in the coming session, uh, please come to see what uh, Andy has been uh, driving. Uh, so in the uh, later in the morning, so uh, we talk about the P extension. In the afternoon, I talk about the new member and the star uh, processor. And uh, tomorrow, we have a lot of uh, survey session. And also, uh, we work with a university uh, project. So uh, I think this afternoon, we're going, you're going to see uh, four of uh, the project based, based on Andy's uh, solution, either simulator or our FPGA and compiler and so on. Thank you.